Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about flow changes in summer 22 release. Okay. Uh, so I have noted the five important changes in the flow only. Okay. So other topics I will make in the separate video. So in this video, we will discuss about five important uh, changes in the flows. Okay. Uh, so in the Salesforce, there are three type of release available winter summer and spring okay the each spring they will they will release the new new changes in the salesforce it may be flow trigger or uh, affect class lwc anything but they will be giving the upgrading them their products okay for that we need to learn everything as a if you want to learn a technology up to date then you should be uh, read all the release notes and uh, you should you should know the re recent changes you should know okay for that we will discuss about, discuss about flow changes okay so we are using only normal sandbox okay but now if you want to access uh, these changes are not in the production okay but if you want to access earlier then we need to sign in into pre-release pre or we need to sign in okay uh, for that this is the url to sign into the pre-release arc i will give in the uh, description okay and so if you enter this one you need to give uh, username um, say first name last name uh, email phone number employee company name you need to give and uh, in the job title is important so you should select the uh, salesforce developer okay and just to start my free trial so if you give this one then you will receive the email similarly okay so once you re once you click this link then it will be navigated to your sandbox or and here you need to reset the password. Then once you reset, then this org will be ready. Okay. So everyone should use this pre-release org only to uh, access the changes. Uh, pre-release org changes. Okay. So first changes record trigger flow. So first changes is like a go to setup. Flow. In the flow, click on the new flow. Um, yeah, okay. So record trigger flow, I'm choosing create. Uh, here you can see, you can choose the object, account object I'm choosing. Here you can see, here you can choose any create or updated, but the new feature is added here in the condition. Pharma evaluates true true this is one of the new feature they introduced in the summer 22 if we, we can able to add the um, formula functionality in the conditions okay so normally we will choose object and the configure trigger and entry criteria so in the configuration we will choose all condition or any condition we need to choose not choose now they are introduced the flow they also sorry formula changes also introduced in the uh, entry criteria Okay, so now we can what we can cho choose record okay after that if some resource what we can give yeah rating so if uh record rot rating okay so in this value equal to some hot so similarly we can give Otherwise, for a simple example, we can choose record dot active. Sorry, so record dot active. Yeah, record dot active also fine. Record dot. Uh, we can choose annual revenue. Okay, annual revenue greater than hundred thousand. So if the annual revenue is greater than thousand, then it, this condition will be should be true okay so we have added that one you can see the entry criteria account object configure trigger is record is created and uh, formula evaluate so in the record annual record greater than 100 okay you, if you want you can check this index so it's valid one now click on done now we need to update record okay now what we can do update account record similarly similarly we can give use the account account record uh, yeah so here what we can choose here is active yes so we are changing the field active to yes click on done do the mapping okay 
So now just uh, click and see you now. Update account record. Okay, so we have just now we have seen one first functionality we have seen. So the formula condition. So in the, we, they added the formula condition as the entry, entry criteria. Okay, so this is the, again I'm saying this is the condition newly added. This is one functionality. Next one, we can enable to view and test this one. So you, you can see this one, this function they have introduced newly. View test. Okay, so create here we need to give label. So in the scenario name test one. So in the Apex code, we will use the test class, right? So similarly, we can test our scenarios. So label I'm using a test one. If the record is created or update, because we have choose to create. While you can see here, we choose the record is created. That's why here the the test scenario also the record is showing as created only. Yeah, you can see created and it run immediately. Um, so I'm saying test one set initial um, triggering record. So which record you are going to use for this one? Um, I'm going to use uh, which record we can use? Yeah, we can use this one for our testing. Okay, just choose this record. Then if you choose the all the values will be populated. Our condition is the annual revenue greater than 1000. So we can give for the 10,000 we can give. Then in the, we need to update that particular field value as yes, this value should be initially is true. We can make it null. Okay, so now the active field should be make it to true. Okay, and, and the assets, uh, set assets equal, whether the, what the output you are expecting. So record dot, is act active equals to true save so if you view test you can run and uh, run test and view result otherwise you can choose multiple then you can uh, run otherwise you can choose this one okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to run test and view result so you can see in the assets and assets and e fast. So the true expected is true, actual is also is true. So this is the second condition. Similarly, we, we can able to create a multiple scenarios. We can able to create this one. Okay. Because so if someone has came and they have modified your flow, uh, then you are going to deploy the production, then it will be cause more issues. Okay, for that, we can able to write the, all the test scenario in the flow then we can, uh, it will be helpful to understand the functional del. So similar to Apex class. Okay, so this is the second feature they introduced in the flow. So till now we have seen record trigger flow. They introduced as a formula field, formula condition as the entry criteria. And second is the test scenario execution. And the third flow explorer, uh, flow trigger explorer. Okay, um, now we can go back, go to flow. Third condition we are going to see. So yeah, flow trigger explorer, click on this one. So it's opening now. Here we can see uh, when the account is created or edited. So this already came, but still uh, record is created or updated, okay? If you choose updated, the no record is, uh, no action is created in the my sandbox. So if it's created, there are two records available, okay? So uh, we can able to change this order. So earlier this option was not available. Now click on the edit order. Now you can drag and drop this, uh, which, or, which action first you should run. So we can able to drag and drop and we can set the order of the execution, this one. So yeah, you can see this one, yes. Okay, so why it's duplicated? Maybe it's an issue in the sandbox. Okay. Um, so edit order only we gave. Similarly, 
अपडेट आई थिंक इट इज इश्यू फ्रॉम दैट साइड सो इट्स डुप्लीकेटिंग टू रिकॉर्ड इज ग्रेटर मे बी दे आर वर्किंग ऑन दिस वन मे बी सो दिस इज सेकेंड फ्यूचर दे इंट्रोड्यूस थिंक इट इट इज इट शुड नॉट डुप्लीकेट द वैल्यू बट इट्स डुप्लीकेटिंग okay let's see whether it's the same way this uh, applying in the production or not once it is released okay so this is the third feature we can change the order simply okay flow trigger explorer order order change object okay so next one is the if we go to particular object for example i'm going to the object we go to the object manager account okay in the account you can see the flow trigger one option is they enabled here here you can see the to whatever the flow is created for this particular object we can able to see it in the object object manager itself okay so this is the new feature they have introduced for so here i can we can able to see only the two records available but if we go to So here only the four four types uh, two two is duplicated here basically. If we can go back and come back, let's see on this because here we can see only the two records available. Uh, trigger uh, flow trigger explorer. Yeah, now it's same. It's showing. So now we can edit the order again. We can check. Change this order. We are changing this one from second to first update. See, so again it's duplicating. I guess it is an issue from that side. Let's see on this one again okay, in the future. So now we can see in the uh, object also they have introduced the flow trigger. We can able to check it. So the fifth one is the add section in the header flow. So now go to the flow. new flow and select the screen flow okay uh select the screen flow and create okay now what we can do yeah from the free from choose one screen in the screen we can see one section is available before itself yeah this is the one section in this section uh, we can able to drag and drop whatever the you feel or whatever things we need we can able to drag and drop but if you see the where it is um, i'm coming back again so you can see the include i have drag and drop one section okay you can see section include headers so in the each section we can able to change the header so first section similarly first section and similarly you can able to do the second section so this is include second section you can see first and second and here you can choose any number of fields email file upload something email where it is main file upload so similarly we can see the first and second there are two fields two sections available now in each section you can able to choose the header name if you click on this the whole section will be minimized so this is one of the new the include header feature they have introduced newly okay so i hope you have understand the all the features now so first one is the record trigger flow the record trigger flow they are introduce the form lock condition as the entry criteria and second one is the test scenario execution so we can able to uh, create write the uh, test scenario for the all the flows okay and uh, third one is the order in the flow trigger explorer we can change the order and uh, fourth one is the object so in the object uh, manager itself we can able to see what are the object created to particular object or what are the flows created to the particular object okay and uh, so fifth one is the add section so we can able to add the section in the screen flow and uh, include header also we can able to add in the section we need we can able to add include header so okay so i hope you have understand some 
something new in the um, new release so just try to implement it from your side in the once it is released so first before implementing in the production just check it once one time in the just log into the free release or and uh, test it one more time okay so if you have any doubt please feel free to uh, comment in the comment section like thank you thanks for watching